Hi everyone, welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and in today's video we are going to talk about the scientifically proven methods to revise the more syllables in less time. It will increase your productivity. So do watch the video till the end because I'm going to tell you the methods that you need to revise everything faster. So first of all when it comes to the revision, obviously revision is something very important when you are studying, when you are an aspirant, it, it is very 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 important. If you will just keep reading and if you will not practice the things it is not going to help you in your exam because ultimately that exam is all about your memory what you retain right and uh, do you know how to apply that knowledge these things are going to create a difference see knowledge is important if you're reading something you know about something right that is something very good but what is the most important thing if you want to score good in your examination that are you able to apply that knowledge when it is required and for that the revision is important and in this video this is what we are going to talk about so here you can see the very first thing is the timing what about the timing ma'am the timing is very important let's say uh, when are you uh, when are you revising it uh, actually let's say you are starting your journey right you have just let's assume that you have just started your need preparation okay then obviously your way to revise the things will be different now I posted this video in the month of February you are watching this in the month of February now we know that our exam is there in the month of May so our revision way our revision strategy should be different so let me tell you first of all let's say if you have just started your preparation so what is the ideal way in that case in that case obviously you should attend the classes online offline whatever it is and then after that classes you will make the notes as per your understanding I'm highlighting this thing as per your understanding then you know that if it if you are preparing for the neat examination then definitely it is the ncrt because there are other aspirants also and this video is useful for all the aspirants so if it is the neat classes notes ncrt then again make short notes or include points in your notes and then the pyq practice this is what we have to do that's how we have to start our preparation so but when you start your preparation when you complete one chapter so you should revise that chapter after after every three days the next round of revision should be after seven days it can be after 11 days after 21 days like this so on so on when you have just started your preparation now the point here is ma'am do we have that much time how are we going to do this okay we do not have that much time we have other subjects also so let me tell you bache what you have to do when you revise a chapter that doesn't mean that you have to start from the starting okay most of the people this is what they do so please pay attention this is the first point that i'm going to explain right most of the people according to them when they have to revise something they revise that complete chapter okay so in this way you are putting your more time and this is not something that we want okay this method is also useful this is good but still it is not that efficient it is efficient for many people but it cannot be efficient for all it can it it still doesn't increase your productivity too much so what you should do after doing that right when it is your first round of revision people you should focus on the most important things you should focus on the notes you can take the help of highlighters right even if you are reading biology directly from the ncrt you should highlight the important points you should skip not so important points right but not so important points like and the these words should be avoided okay so you can use highlighters to highlight the important points to highlight the pyqs and you should read them again and again so after three days when you will revise the same chapter again you will not take much time and after seven days obviously short notes in that short notes flow chart should be included you can revise from that flow charts so you should pick up the keywords every time when you revise it's not like that you have to revise that complete chapter no it is the keyword that you have to pick and trust me when you have done that chapter properly it will be there in subconscious mind and when you will revise it revise it revise it revise it revise it with the keywords the topics uh, that then obviously you will retain it for a longer time you will understand in a better way this is the one way now now we are in the month of february but right so we know that we have to revise the complete syllabus the physics the chemistry and biology so ma'am do we need to follow the same way now let me tell you see whenever we revise something the reading audio and visuals these are the three ways reading audios and visual for the reading i have given you one way also now let me come to the another way first of all you have to decide what type of topic you are doing physics chemistry biology right in all the three subjects there will be the chapters where 
the concept needs to be very strong there will be the chapters where it is all about the memory you have to remember some facts so you should divide your data whether it is factual or conceptual so now if something is factual here it's all about your memory you need to remember that facts and then you have to apply it right in your exam when it is the conceptual you have to understand the concept then students here i have something very amazing for all of you see what we feel that okay in this chapter a lot of data is there so i should sit for six to seven hours i should read that complete chapter and then i have to revise this is the normal way but no this is not something that you are going to do so students for the morphology examples for the animal kingdom examples you can use this way but say instead of having one round of solid revision and such factual information if you have many rounds of rough revision that are going to help you if you are thinking that you will sit just once you will read all the information you will uh, you will mug up all the facts and that will help you to retain that fact till your examination time no you can just sit right you can just give a rough round of revision just read that data don't try to memorize it just read that data and then do it again do it again do it again do it again so such multiple rough rounds of revision should be there in this way you can retain that information for the long uh, for the longer time okay till your exam and even after your exam you can remember such things but just let's see if i talk about the ncrt okay now i'm teaching when i was in my school when i was in my class 12 right there are few lines that are uh, you know clearly from that Time. they are clearly in my brain just say I talk about the 20 amino acids right so then I revised it and till today I remember it why 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 multiple rounds of revision this is what you people can do okay this is what you people can do so instead of again I'm repeating instead of having one solid revision and such factual uh, information you should have many rounds of revision you can also relate it with long-term potentiation but say right but say uh, they are you know again and again again and again again and again you are revising something the strong nerve impulses will come okay so it is scientifically proven method so do it for morphology do it for the examples of animal kingdom do it wherever inorganic chemistry is having the exceptions you will retain that now when it comes to the conceptual topics it requires a lot of time for factual again no need for the solid revision just rough revisions you will save your time you should invest that time here when it did, this is something conceptual obviously you have to understand the concept and for understanding that concept yes you have to give a time you have to give a certain amount of time so once you understand that concept next time let's say if you took two hours to understand that concept next time for the revision even 15 minutes will be sufficient if you know the concept that's how the conceptual topics help so first of all divide your data in this way you can revise say for an example genetics for an example cell cycle and cell division these are the topic right where if your concepts are clear right you will not take much time for the revision right but so same for physics and for chemistry now this is about the reading one way of reading is also there right you can also relate it with the visual part just say let's say this is a book okay when you read something this is one way you are just moving your eyes you should put your finger there right and you should watch your fingertip you should watch your fingertip obviously the speed of this fingertip will be more right it is more it is faster right you cannot read with that speed now you are challenging your brain your brain will soon your brain will make this a habit your brain will inc also increase its speed so in this way right right you can complete that page in less time so move your finger every time move your finger every time like this okay so you can store more data in less time this is also one of the way this also comes in the visual part also and let's say you have completed the topic right now another way is audio way you can listen to the lecture you can listen to the podcast okay and one another way is you can just discuss that particular chapter with someone else just say this is my way when i was studying i was living in a pg uh, i was a paying guest there so i used to tell this to my friend that i am going to explain you something and what you will do you just have to listen to me and you have to pretend you are understanding Okay, this is the best way trust me on that this is the best way you can do it with your mother father with your siblings right explain a topic right without looking at the book just explain a topic to them and whenever you forget something open the book revise it again and then tell them it is one of the best ways to retain something for a longer time okay now whenever it comes to any of the chapter any of the chapter right obviously it is a task for you you have to complete physics in 10 days chemistry in 10 days or biology in 10 days it is a task for you so either you underestimate or you overestimate 
both the things are incorrect right so now i am explaining you the parkinson's law it is something very important and you all can relate it with it uh, relate uh, see as per parkinson's law work expands to the time allowed for it now what is the meaning of that ma'am work expands to the time allowed for it like let's say for an example you have completed your physics syllabus in 10 days now you are thinking that you need 10 days for the revision but maybe you just need 6 days so if you will give 10 days so you are going to waste your 4 days right and let's say you actually need 5 days for completing the physics syllabus but you have given 3 days okay then you will not be able to complete this task there will be the stress there will be the anxiety and again your confidence will be okay so we have to do what we should not overestimate we should not underestimate okay we should not give more time to a task we should not give less time to a task there is a balance then how can we make that balance which this is what parkinson's law is saying that work expands to the time allowed for it let's say your teacher has given you 10 days for completing an assignment and that assignment is just a matter of two days what will what are we going to do obviously we will start it two days before the deadline or one day before the deadline or even on the day when we have to submit it this is general human tendency this is what we follow for our exams also isn't it so when you expand the duration now you waste your time and this is what you have to realize so your strategy should be realistic you should know what should be the ideal time for that particular topic and it can vary from person to person no one can tell you so this is what you people need to learn these are the ways that you have to include in your revision plan and trust me your score will boost right bache and these are scientifically proven method and i think this is something Thing that we experience in our day-to-day -day life so add the pocket so keep this parkinson's law point in your mind right and do the pomodoro follow the pomodoro technique means divide your work in intervals trust me your productivity will increase now this is the most important thing that is the active recall as i said ultimately it is the matter of the memory only right so ma'am active recall me what about the pyqs now but you have completed your syllabus okay okay not completely but you have completed many chapters out of it so instead of start reading it from the notes or from the ncrt please start with the pyq practice first right i have posted another strategy like this the reverse strategy that instead of starting the pyq chapter P, uh, ncrt reading first start with the pyq practice first start with the mcq practice first now you must be thinking how but you have already read that chapter okay if you will start with the mcq whatever you remember as per that you can answer the questions and whatever you are forgetting you can just mark that particular point right you can write it down even in your error notebook you can mark that point and later on you can read that chapter from your NCERT okay so in this way because whatever is already stored in your brain it will stay like that but whatever you are forgetting as of now you have to focus on that part that is what active recall is people okay so for that reverse your way and it is not just for the biology even for the physics and chemistry start with the numericals okay start with the numericals from the chapter that you have completed so wherever you are making the mistake right pick up that point from the theory uh, understand the concept there and in that way you can revise and you will retain the things in a better way so this is the active recall and trust me it will boost your score students it is definitely going to boost your score you can even try it for your next mock test and you will see the result and moreover other ways the flashcards there are many apps in the market that are available you should make your but you should make your own flashcards let's say there is a word there is any highlighted word in the ncrt right but any highlighted word in the ncrt they have given let's say if it is the peptide bond so whatever you know about the peptide bond you should write it about it and then right if you are forgetting something you can just check that particular thing okay so already you know two to three points and whatever you are forgetting from that flashcard you can note down that points also this is also the way to complete your ncrt to complete your syllabus in a in a less time and you can complete more syllabus right but you can make your own own sticky notes if you have seen toppers desk right this stick the things there why because writing is very important more and more you write more and more you will keep it in your brain right so whatever is bothering you keep writing the write it write it down write it down write it down write it down practice like this stick sticky notes to your uh, study area and whenever you will look at it 
right you will revise that concept this is another way so this is also that rough round of revision it comes under that and then bache i already told you in active recall teaching others is something very useful you can apply the same for the neat uh, your fellow neat aspirants also you can teach them they can explain you the things you are going to retain it for a longer time so do follow these strategies all of them are scientifically proven methods and please give your best this is the time where you are not allowed to quit and trust me these last 3 to 4 months they are the game changers you have you have i will just keep i'll just say that you have two months and these two months can be the game changers if you will have a proper strategy you are going to get it you will crack the neat examination it's not about the knowledge that you have it's about how do you how well do you apply that knowledge how well you handle the pressure it's about that so always remember 80 20 rule bache that in your paper 80% of the questions will come from the syllabus uh, from the 20% of the syllabus that you have studied so please please and please follow this video save this video and whatever is bothering you let me know in the comment section i will make the video on that all the best keep studying keep loving our channel so if you are the subscriber thank you so much if you are not the subscriber subscribe to our channel asap be the part of this channel thank you so much people take care all the best